She call him a squeed. Oh, sir, how's your mouth there, ma'am? They have been plenty fun. Boy, for sure. They have the very support of the great contact with Come on, dear. Sarah and Abby never had to pout. Tori jump out. Them woman mouth. Hey, hey, Sarah. What we have here? Addy and Sarah meet the tourists. Well, Sarah, my child, how are things going with you today? I have for thank you. Only for this need of bothering me. How are you? I saw so, thank you, my day heart. Except for the eye bothering me as usual. I'm going to see this doctor about it. What your name? Black or black, something so. You know, I hear he go fix a good eye, you know. Cause Mella was telling me about it the other day. But Sarah. Yeah, Sadi. Why become here? Two man, two woman <laughs> over. <laughs> you see about a ratio <laughs> here in this Santa Cruz. You can't see that a man or a woman. Eh? Well, I can't blame you. Cause I've never seen things like that since a man. I better change the setting on this. It's a little dark in here. What is you trying to do there? Eh? Take the picture? I'm sorry. What did you say? I, I don't understand. I say, what you want to do? Take me picture? I ain't want nobody taking no picture of me in these clothes. Not in these clothes. Oh, no, 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 no. That's just what we want. You, you just keep right on talking and chasing away the flies. That's perfect. <laughs> Adi, you could beat that. Hi. Eh? Supposing I walk up in the States and haul out my camera, make sure I take a picture of the people in the jailhouse they won't send me? Of course, my dear child, but, but why it is at all with, with, with these people? Where is daddy? I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it good. Mr. Torres, why it is you want with my picture? Tell me that. Well, uh, you know, the, we just... It's so beautiful here in the islands. We just want to take some pictures and bring them back home to show our friends well, something about your way of life down here. Where are life? Uh, where? What? So where you come from, they don't sell things in a tray? Well, yes, but not in trays like this. The setting is so beautiful and, you know, your clothes and all. Oh, oh, oh no, you, we, you look perfectly fine. So I Divine. look funny to you? <laughs> no, you look Not perfectly sure. darling. Perfectly darling. Hi, my baby. So if I let you take a picture of me, you willing to do something for me? Well, certainly. Uh, uh, how much do you want? No, me want your money. But if I let you take a picture of me, I could take a picture of you too. Why would you want to take a picture of me? I mean, uh, what could you possibly do with a picture of me? I want to send it to my son. Your son? Well, where is your son? I, you know, and what would he possibly want with a picture of us? Oh, uh, my son there in America. He don't go to Columbia University. He gonna be a doctor one of these days. And I want to show him how the tourists them to dress down, yeah? Mm-hmm. Now, a couple years back, if you and a woman had come out in the street looking like that, people would have taken her off a masquerade, sure. They'd have want to know what holiday it is. That's if the police would have let she walk wrong with that little piece of frack she got. But it's said times change, and anything no go now. That's why I want to send the picture to Emil so he could see how people are dressed now in Hibania land. So, so you think we dress unusual too? If I think you don't dress unusual, you look in your looking glass this morning. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Sheffield! Oh Sheffield! Yes, ma'am. Boy, go in the, the house there, reach the quota. Quick, quick, come take picture of these people come in on, front dear. of me. Uh, we better oh, get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Sarah, you knock them all with that one. With the nonsense. I bet you they stop the stupidness after this. Addy, you know we's tourist attraction? Moo Moo's and politics. Morning, Addy. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Father Sarah. So you were in a shift then? <laughs> this is a shift. This is a mumu. Okay. Shift, mumu, they's all the same to me. All of them look like underclothes. Where you get? I get from a shop that had it on sale. You mean to tell me that you take your good, good money and went go buy it in them shop? Them places for tourists. Them places for anybody that got money to buy what they're selling. But if you think it look that bad, I got my apron here in my basket. Well, let me help you with the thing, man. Thank you. My hand them battering me. What make you afraid hospital so much? Eh? What make you stop going doctor? You ain't even got to see the same one all the time. It got all kind up there. Japanese, Chinese, even African doctor. All right there, buddy. Thank you. How business going this morning? To tell you the truth, girl, think slow. Ever since them shop open like Obandos and Grand Union and thing all them name what they got, think slow for we. But Sarah, yes, sit down here before that man wait from the paper come taking your picture, you looking like masquerade. I don't call me apron, but I ain't want to cover up myself altogether. After all, we is tourist attraction. <laughs> we is what? What is woman talking about? You never notice when them tourists come, how they will be looking at we? And the things they will say? Look at how colorful and quaint they are. <laughs> Sometimes they'll just stop and buy things from we just to talk to well, we. Oh my peace, Sarah. You gonna kill me at today. You know where you just get them things from. But Sarah. Yes, Addy. You just vote? I mean, you are going to register? Vote? Not me. I mean, sorry, Nita. After I hear how them people stand up in that line for four hours just to vote, not me. Me too old for them thing. But you ain't gonna exercise your right, girl? Exercise right? What right? And since then you'd know about anything called politics, are you? I don't see it on the TV and I'll see it on the radio. I ain't so stupid after all. Well, me want nobody think I'm stupid neither. I get one of them radio the grandchildren and them buy me. Ain't no electricity. But when I turn it on, I hear one side talking about what the next side ain't doing properly. And then, I don't pick up the Puerto Rican station. But all I could do is listen to the music. Because me can't understand one thing that Spaniard <laughs> do be saying. <laughs> oh, lady. But, Adi, where you get TV from? My son in law got one. So I just hear it from both sides. And if you don't vote, you ain't got no voice, you're losing your chance. Chance? Me too old and weary for chance. But Adi, I never knew you were such a politician, you know. <laughs> if they take me and you and put me in a bag, what? I don't know who's coming out first. Me and my mumu, or you and your politics. <laughs> Ay, my belly. Sarah Machile, how you do? Of divorce and other matters. Adi, what do you think about all this fuss over the new governor for the island? For my part, my dear child, one is as good as the other. All of them, they will do the same thing. But they're good when they're new, right? So do you think they should get a new one every other week, what do you say? <laughs> Daddy, you a scream it all. But you might be right after all. Morning, Addy. Morning, Sarah. My name is Dr. Cartwright. Morning, sir. Nothing for you today, sir? No, thank you. Um, nothing. You better pay me for that punking where you trust last week. Hm. I never see a set of mancumet millionaire. Look what I come to this place. They all come here. Trusting thing all about the tongue, and they don't pay. It's all very right, Addy. You don't let them take you in with all the nice talk. It couldn't have been me, I'll tell you that. This is my kind heartedness, my dear child. I can't help it. Kind heartedness is one thing, 
but advantageousness is another. After all, is that age of a woman you be? You can't get people making monkey out of your straight, straight, so. Morning, Eddie. Morning, Morning Mom. Papa. Oh, you have some nice bananas here, Sarah. How much are they? 25 cents for the bunch. I'll take them. Um, what about these mangoes? How much are they? 10 cents for that one, Mom. Okay, I'll take that. Here, put it in my basket. And what about the lemons? Them is lime. Well, how much are they? I'll give you three for ten. I'll take them. Put them in my basket so as well. So let's see. You got a bunch of banana for 25 cents and the mango for ten. That's 35 plus the ten that's for the lime them. That's 45 cents. So how much for everything? 45 cents. I just tell you. How much for everything, Sarah? I just All of tell it. you 45 cents. The mango is 25 cents. The banana is 25 cents for the bunch. The mango is 10 cents and the lime them were 10 cents. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness. I came to town with no money at all. <coughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> Mr. Harper's going to come to town later and I'll send him with the money. How's that? <coughs> Mrs. Harper, I'm going to be here until 3 o'clock this afternoon, you hear me? Fine, fine. <laughs> How's little Sheffield doing? Sheffield fine, he went Oy. to school today. Thanks for asking. Okay, great. Mr. Harper will come back with the money later. So you have a wonderful day, okay? Miss Harper, I'm going to be here till 3 o'clock <laughs> this afternoon. Fine, fine, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Sarah, are you where you're laughing for? Sarah, you make me look small, girl. Wait a sec, you must stand your ground. It couldn't be me and all them things. <laughs> you I say turn you away. and all could get a take in by them nice talk. I couldn't turn away. She's such a nice woman. When she owe you and don't pay like she do teeny, you know, sing her next tune after that. Hush your mouth, man, hush. Look at next one come in there. Good morning. Morning, morning. ma'am. What are those peculiar looking fruit? Them is sour sap, ma'am. Sour sap? What does it taste like? That tastes like sour sap. Well, no, what I mean is it like an apple or a peach or what? That tastes like sour sap, ma'am. Okay, skip those. <laughs> um, oh, what are these? Them is mespol. <laughs> mespol. Oh, I remember we had some at Ms. Jones's house the other day. They have the uh, black stones in them? You mean seed? Oh, yeah, same thing. <laughs> I'll take six of these, please. Daddy, you could be How much? Ten? You're so six of them, right? What is so Twenty-five cents. All right. Thank you, Mom. Thank have you. A Bye now. All right. Sarah, <laughs> you hear that? She called a mespo seed stone. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a set for you, yeah. It's a set for true, no? But you know who she be? Can we never see that one there before? I don't know her name. But it said she come down here for the cure. Oh, gum. She's sick? Poor thing. Sarah. You ain't know what them people mean when they say they come down here for the cure? Well, when people sick, it's cured, they don't need, Adi. When them people say they come here for the cure, it is the voice they come looking, Sarah. It's a stupid, man. That's the first time me hear about that. But I don't understand how them people like get married all the time. And just get divorced, divorced, divorced. It's like they don't take the marriage vows seriously. Hmm. They need a good licking. All of them husbands need to give them a good beating. That's all they need. Adi, what stupidness you're talking? Eh? So what are you telling me? Is a good thing for a husband to beat a wife? What nonsense you're saying, Adi? Them kind of thing need to come to a stop. Hmm. And is a woman you'll be after all. What make you go say something like that? That's why I don't want to say it, because it's a woman, Abi. 
Ain't no man gonna put your hand on me, say he hated me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Zara, you must be forget about Alfred. Hmm. That's when I was a little girl. No man can't do me them thing now. Not at all. I don't know about that one. I'm telling you though. And after all, what you bringing up them thing for? Eh? Eh, eh. You vex now. If I vex, that's one thing I don't like with you, you know, Ari. You don't take liberty with people's business. No, if I start to tell you how Joe used to bittle you down there in water, I got your wall like it. No, sir. Hush your mouth there, ma'am. Because when me walk around with you, you know, because when my mouth ready, ain't no respect to nobody. Respect to nobody? So I can't decide. You can Eh? It is the truth you're afraid, Ari. Is the truth you're afraid behind your back and front your face? Is the truth you're afraid? We don't have nonsense. Ari, I'm going to fix it good. Getting married is risky business. Well, Sarah, darling, how are things going with you today? So, so thank you, Mitchell. Just for this knee bothering me. How are you? I all right. Except I couldn't sleep a wink last night. I had a gas in my stomach there. But I feel much better this morning. You know, when people get old, I kind of think no go wrong with them. After all, I ain't that old. They got people older than me who got pain. Don't mind you see them there with a cockish self, you know. They don't <laughs> feel the same pain like you and me. They just want people to think they're young. <laughs> Sarah, you're too wicked, you see her there, you know. Take she that live across the way there from me. Says she going to dance the other night. Hmm? For two days, a poor soul can't walk. She balling for her foot them. Think better she has stay home. Leave that there for her chair and them to do. She too <laughs> stupid. So Sarah, you mean to say when you get older, you ain't to look no pleasure? I didn't say that, Ari. But you can't expect to do the same thing them like when you were 16 or 18 years old. Tis a fool you're going to make yourself out to be. And that is what some people don't understand. So I sent a wire to Bill, telling him to come to the versions. They're beautiful. He sends me one back saying, you mean the versions or the islands? <laughs> that sounds just like Bill. Doesn't it? So I send him one back and I say, the islands, silly. And of course, he doesn't come. Watch them too now. They just nearly walk all over people and ain't even self sorry. They ain't got no manners. Some of them, they could be so nice. And some of them, too haggish. Them too, they? Them is a haggish kind. But I'll tell you what, they could all keep the holy. Well, Sarah. Yes, sorry. I hear Jacob and Bella broke up now. That's a struggle with them two, you know. <laughs> Are you still wrong, let me tell you. Jacob tell me he gonna ask for a better woman than Bella. They had big church wedding, you know, with uh -uh. My bread, made of Anna and bride, made a kind of thing. Mm -mm. Fifteen years them two been together, okay? And the wedding even last two months good. <laughs> for true, tell me about that. What happened? Well, Jacob, you remember Jacob been sick a while back? Oh, yeah. When he been there, they thought he was going dead. So they keep telling him, marry Bella, marry Bella. And he grew at last when he come out of the hospital, you know. Uh -uh. He said after he married Bella, okay, Bella started to talk about my house and my land from the very day of the wedding, you know. <laughs> So they're just telling me Bella are telling Jacob that she know her rights. Mm -hmm. Jacob said he could have never believe a change could come over somebody like that. She used to cook his food, wash she clothes, even help him in the ground, you know. <laughs> but he said from the day they get married, oh. all them things stop. Well, I tell you the truth, Jacob, I mean business, eh? My son, Jacob tell her. If you don't want to help me wrong here no more, 
get out my house. Well, sorry, Bob. Bella, really fix up Jacob there, my son. Mm -hmm. Wait, man. So Jacob said what? Bella said go read the paper that you sign. <laughs> when Jacob understand what Bella was talking Boy. about, he said no. Jacob went to lawyer looking for divorce. The lawyer tell him, you got to pay Bella out of her share of the land and the house. Well, I could imagine how vexed Jacob must have been about all that. Vex? Jacob said that was the worst mistake he ever made. Mm -mm. And you remember, Jacob didn't want to go back to the people I'm touching you know? He only went for his wedding night. And the next joke is, that was the first time Jacob set foot to the people I'm touching you know? Oh, yeah? When you that re happened? Tell me about that. You remember a while back, a old year's night when Jacob went to the people I'm touching with Romy he had? Oh, I think I'd hear about that for three, you know. Well, yeah. Jacob went in, went in the people them church with his head full of rum. Hello, T Pipe said he's smoking. Hmm? <laughs> Scratch the match, you know. He even noticed how everybody sitting there watching him until the person had to come and tell him, Stop. Well, that's a Jacob and a half. Well, after they tell you to stop. Jacob properly dropped sleep on the people them bench. <laughs> Next thing you hear, ring at him, Dave. Jacob down the ground. <laughs> you remember Jacob used to fishing? Oh, yeah, man. Well, he must be had dreaming that he been in the boat. The next thing you hear, Jacob start, help! <laughs> man overboard! <laughs> help! Oh, Lord. So when Jacob fell along on the hard church floor, you think he was in the sea? Daddy, me never been to a lively church service, you know. People nearly bust from holding in laugh. The, the man there on the pulpit preacher, he even noticed nobody paying attention to him. He had to stop. Well, that's a Jacob and a half for true. Fish. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ari, you ever notice this type of music they're singing now these days? What they calling it, um, Calypso? Yeah, it is Calypso they calling it, yes. Well, I never thought that I'd hear them kind of things singing in the street. Sawfish sweet? Eh? <laughs> eh? But uh, you self said it's modern times, uh, Sarah. Ari, modern times? They're so modern now, me even know where you're going. But them thing is worthless, son. <laughs> and everybody's singing it in the house and they shoot and all kind of thing. This is modern times, girl. Mm -mm. It's an excuse for them for singing them thing. It's just vulgarity and just worthlessness. That's where you be. Well, that's a cute little baby. Feeny that I got there. Mm. What make you say, mm, so funny? You ain't see how clear she look? <laughs> and how pretty her hair <laughs> be? Mm. Oh, Sarah. You gonna kill me here today, you know? Mm. They said the apple don't fall far from the tree. But that one there? If I far <laughs> from the tree. Oh, Lord. Watch them two now. Bet you a dollar is somebody business they pound in there again. Watch them now. You can't stop bothering people every time you pass there, little Joe. Everybody know I ain't nothing but two old scandal monger. I go pop police on you. Pop police on who? Pop police on who? I go fix you. I go fix you before long. I go fix you. A good for you, Sarah. Travelers return. Morning, Adi. How are you? Ah, oh, well, thank you, my dear, oh, Sarah. Hi. How are you doing? I saw, I saw. Lord. What make you never tell me your cousin Sammy had come back from America? You mean to say you didn't know? That's a cross for me. And by the way, he ain't Sammy no more. 
Rockies, Samuel. Samuel Pembroke. <laughs> he saw me like before. Hola, Sarah. You will make my belly hot. So you mean to say we ain't to call you Sammy no more? Who it is at all? Well, the other day, what would that be? Tuesday? He and his brother Johannes come across there and meet me. I am in. He said I cross the eye around the place and see a pot on the fire. So he said, what are you cooking? <laughs> I said, Kalalu, you want some? Oy. He said, what is that? What that? <laughs> you be to say nigga man don't know Kalalu no more? What kind of thing is this at all? Wait, man. Sateli, what stupidness you asking me, Sammy? Eh? You who is 32 years old, been eating it all your life. It's only six years you've been in America, and you mean to tell me you don't know what Kalalu is? A good for you, Sarah. And what he said to that? The ignoramus says something that me even understand what he's saying. And then he yanking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lady. Anyways, as the matter continue, I had to ask you. So you mean to tell me you don't know what fungi and fish be neither? Eh? You ain't know what I'm well. thinking be? You want what? Mm. Yes. What he said to that? What he gonna say? The other day, but I was telling me, he went to the barber shop. And he stand up by the window and happened to look outside and see the steeple. You know what he said? What building is that? I don't remember it. <laughs> oh, God. Sarah, you going to kill me out today, no? Baby said he was so surprised he almost cut off the customer ear with his scissors. Well, my peace, that's a set for you. I got to go and cook something for the boy later. He said he want to go listen to Professor Crab lecture. So I got so okay. Let me sell off these things again. All right, my day hat. I'm going to see you later to hear the rest. All right, talk to you later. I get mango, papaya, sweet sap, passion fruit. Well, thing well slow, yeah, for true. I guess I better go this side. That's the stromo with Sarah and Sammy. Oh, I mean Samuel Pembroke. <laughs> well, I got sour sap, mango, tea bush. 